Cammie? You know what, Cammie? I think you put your high heels on again today. You're doing that on Thursdays to make me feel short. <laughs> aren't you? No, I'm not. Well, Are you sure? Why aren't you wearing your stilettos? I think this might have to do. <laughs> do you still own a pair? No, but I'll find something with a heel. Yeah. I'm sure you got something with a heel. Since there's rumor that you used to wear heels all the time. I did. I did. So today is February, is it the 9th or the 10th? 9th. The 9th. February. Valentine's Day on Monday. Somebody's birthday is creeping up. Super Bowl on Sunday. And she just glides right by that. You don't care about the Super Bowl. You don't? There's no. a lot of people that care about the Super Bowl. <laughs> care about your birthday more. Oh. Right? Yes. Mm. Yes, I have a birthday coming up. And do you know, at the retreat, Gladys ordered a cake. And on the Tuesday night, they surprised me with this beautiful card that everybody signed. Oh. And a birthday cake that was delish. Where's the picture? Um, Gladys's was blurry, and I have... <laughs> Gladys's was blurry. Yeah, she was trying to take it fast, but um, I did bring the guys back a few pieces. Oh. So how's that? Okay, we're happy. Okay, and it was chocolate, which is... So that was very nice. So we had fun at our retreat this weekend. I bet People you did. just needed to get out. So, and there was just a lot of laughter, a lot of funny things going on. And there was a really good show and tell. And I have two ladies that have come for years from Chatham, Janet Spatchel and Elaine McCorkle, who will never get up at show and tell. Oh. And they're always sewing prolifically. Well, they had been in Gladys's class, you know, when it was the double, the Metro Rings oh, yes. class in the fall. And they not only had them finished, they had them quilted. So they wanted to impress the teacher. Well, that's they good. And show her, you know, <clears throat> that, they, that they had done them. Well, they brought, they brought, they had more than one. They were, oh, they were just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous quilts. And I was so happy that they got up and they said they'll get up again in the future. Well, there so you there go. So the people went back to see, you know, and ask questions. But because everybody's doing different techniques and different things. So it was just really, really good. So I will be posting those those this week. So be sure to to uh, have a look because there were lots of lots and lots of different ones and really good ones. And everybody's just so friendly and helpful. And it was good. I just saw somebody say that there's a quilt sew along on Super Bowl Sunday. Did you know that? That's an interesting idea. Yeah, it is. Who do we have here this morning? There's Sheila Barnum in Florida. Agnes. Well, thank you, Debbie Durham and Agnes. And uh, oh, some other people go flashing through there. Pat Estian and there's Gisela and, and Aaron Getty. Oh, Aaron, we just, <clears throat> we were so grateful for your email. And Peggy Maskell and there's Wendy Koster. Patty. Joanne Lewis, Patty Glasgow. Kathy, are you waiting for me to I was go? having a drink, it's your turn. <laughs> There's Sally and Kathy. There was another Kathy. Lots of Kathy's. Uh, Janet, Gunning. So there's lots of ladies watching. Probably having breakfast. Mary and Jackie. Wanda, is that better now? Okay. <laughs> and there's Lucy from Tilsonburg and Elizabeth. <laughs> And Christine from local too, so all over the place. So it's very nice to see you, and thank you for joining us this morning. Oh, we're getting the nudge. If you want something, it's Cynthia at cherishpieces.com or Tammy, T A M I, at cherishpieces.com. And we look forward to your emails and helping you get the things you need. And then we should talk about our door prizes. So we have a block book, um, there's always great patterns. We're going to do an extra one because a uh, lady last week, or yeah, last week already gets these, so she was willing to pass it on to somebody else. Yeah, Mary Weber had, has a subscription and said, put it back in the drawer for somebody else. And then I believe the calendar, too, is back up for grabs because somebody has already a calendar. Has, yeah, so. gifted that calendar already. And then I have eight fat quarters, the sewing fat quarters with the little, uh, oh, where was the, just the sewing words, I guess. But they're nice and bright. You know, they're starting to be a little springy. 
We yep. need some things that we make us feel spring and happy colors. Yeah. What else do you have? What else do I have? Um, you know what? That lovely line of cheddar and coal that we showed last week, the layer cake arrived this week. And this was such a gorgeous line. And Gwen Harding had bought it out at retreat. She she bought the line and she's doing, um, is it full moon or moon? Summer Sum moon. Summer moon. Block of the month book. Yeah. yeah. So she's going to do that quilt in these colors. Do really nice. And she <laughs> has some of her blocks done and some of them are really little. Anyway, just gorgeous. Good morning, Laurie Smith from downtown Spinbrook. Anyway, so the layer cakes are in. And I will say, two of these were homemade. Ooh, what are you going to make out of them? I, uh, you know, I love this. And I, you know, there's so many different things that could be done. I was thinking, you know, it would be nice in an apple pour. It would be nice in tumblers. It would be nice in nine patches or 16 patches. So, Or how about a postage stamp quilt? Oh, no, I, <laughs> I don't see a postage stamp quilt in my future. But. They're nice like, colors. Yeah, and, some really so, nice and colors. I'd like to have it on our bed at some point. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to take it home. All right. Anyway, and it's $59. I know somebody would probably be saying, oh, what, what, what was that? Why did I take it? But anyway. Okay. So that's it. And it looks like these two patterns came in yesterday's order, right? Mm-hmm. So some new things. So this is for five and ten inch squares. Oh, there you go. It's Pebble Path. By Cozy Quilt Designs. They always do nice patterns. So, yeah, five inch and ten inch squares. And this one is for strips. For two and a half inch strips. And it's quite lovely, too. So that one is 13 and that one is 12. Okay. And then um, he should show that um, wool one. Because, okay. you know, March is just around the corner. And it's so pretty with the crocuses, and daffodils, and it's in wool, but I'm sure you could do it in other things if you wanted. And we kit this. I think we have two of these patterns. They're 16 each. It would be just fun to work on some springy flowers. And then we just also wanted to remind you that we carry a signature threads on a cone. There's 3,000 yards on a cone. I know I just grabbed a few colors, but there's a lot of neutrals. And this is a 40 weight thread. And our machine quilters love it for machine quilting. They do. And it's also just fine for piecing too. I know a lot of people prefer to piece with a, a 50 or an 80. It just depends on what it is you're doing, but 40 will piece nicely too. Those are 18 a cone. And then Aurifil, we have some bigger cones of theirs. And this is the, I'm going to put on this, the fig. Uh, yeah. Where's the info? Uh, one side. I think it's about 6,000 yards. So that's a gray. There's like a cream, and then I brought a white. Yeah, so this is a Orifil. Now, Orifil has had a big price increase. Because our normal spools of now are now 1835. Um, mm -hmm. So this one is $78. It goes a long, long way. I know it's a, a gag. I know, but if it's you're like, in love, woo, but if you're in love with... Um, or Phil, this certainly goes a very long way and um, would be more cost effective than the, the small because these are just great colors to piece with because it's piecing. We always like to go with either a light gray or a light taupe, yeah. you know, and they just <clears throat> kind of disappear in your seams. More where you get top stitching or machine quilting that you want the different colors. And somebody, I saw somebody asked if we sell glide threads. We do not or the King Tut, or any of those. I can bring in King Tut for you, like a special order. Um, I'll have to see it look like. I know there's a lot of people that, that love it, especially our machine quilters. Okay. And we have some little uh, project things, or do you want to do the demo thing? Is, is uh, that ready? Do you want to demo? Sure. Okay, so um, we'd like to show notions and I'm going to give this a whirl, see how this goes today. So one of the things that we have uh, is called a hot ruler and they're 26 and people are asking what they are. So I'll show you. So it's kind of like a little felted cardboard, it almost feels yeah, it's like. A special, yeah, it's, it's a special um, fabric. type of fabric. So you'll see that it has markings um, 
quarter inch, half inch, three quarter, and then it goes to one, two, and two and a half. So this is really neat if you need to hem something or you just need like a quick half inch, say you're making a bag and you need to, to be half inch up. So you would fold your fabric the half inches up, grab your iron, and then you're just ironing right on that. So you're not getting out your pins, you're not getting out your marker and marking where your half inch is. You lift it up and you've got your half inch, and I would probably just go back and reinforce that. I even spray with a little acorn spray yeah, if I wanted to. Yeah, you could do that to. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just want to be careful, like this can get really hot if you keep doing this. When you're catching it, you also don't want to like warp it, twist it, bend it, let it cool off before you handle it, and probably before you store it. I would store it flat. So there's all kinds of uh, useful things that you could use that for. Mm -hmm. And the other thing we have is this thing called an iron finger, and we were joking about this yesterday, all the uses for it. So one of the things that they show is that if you have um, a seam that you wanted to press open, you can put it on your iron finger. You can iron right on it because it's like a silicone, so it's not going to damage it. That would be good for wallets and purses and some of the little fiddly things we do, wouldn't it? Yeah, so if even, if you, were, get it even if you were making open. clothing, you know, like some of the people that I know, we're quilters, but there's still some of us that will do something special here and there. So you could also, they had, um, let's see if we can do this. You can use it to like press open, or like press something down, like a seam, whatever you want. And then if you had sewn like this little pocket thing and you're gonna, can't turn it inside out, just, <laughs> Arlene quickly sew this for me, but what you're supposed to be able to do is turn it inside out and use the um, point on it to like poke out your corners. <laughs> So we're having a good laugh today. That's all right. So yeah, you know, to point, pull out your corners when you're sewing stuff. So that's your iron finger. And then our other use for it that's not on the packaging is if somebody steals your fabric scissors for other things than fabric, it's an iron finger. You can just walk them. Yeah, I, I was thinking <laughs> that this could be a disciplinarian for sure. Yeah, don't take my fabric scissors. But anyway, we wouldn't do that. We're good. It's 22 if you'd like an iron finger. It's a weird name. It is. But yeah, so that's my little demo for today. A hot ruler and iron finger. Well, thanks, Kim. And I think this. we still have, do we still have? We still food? have irons, yeah. yeah. We still do. And we are keeping them at our promotional price of, instead of 160, 130. All right. Okay. So what do you have? Well, why don't we talk about this lovely quilt behind us? Okay. This is one Arlene did, isn't it? It is. And came up with it. So what's the size thing? Well, that is right on this kit picture here. 54 by 70. She is just putting me on the hot spot. And the well, kit is $58. But look how sweet it is. Well, we quilted it. And I wish we had a zoom that we could zoom in because... She's got all these cute little trucks and fire trucks and stuff happening on there. Yeah, they're the little quilting. dump trucks. They're so cute. And this binding <laughs> is quite effective with it. And then just a nice blue on the back. So that's a very sweet quilt. And that was 58. Mm -hmm. And then Louise also grabbed the a panel. Because right now these are in clearance. They're $8 a panel. And it's just a, you know, like a cat. And she just took it, put a nice back on it, and quilted it, and bound it. And it's a nice little play mat. Like, we've done them in chenille. Like, we've chenilled mm -hmm. them when you get put four of them together. But this is just a nice play mat for a baby. You can take it to the beach, to the park, you know, just outside on your grass. Use it in your stroller. Mm -hmm. So She was making a few of these for quick gifts. That's a great idea. So then we did have that's some That's a great way other... to practice your machine oh, yeah. quilting. Right? Or like if you have a long arm to practice on there. Sure. So we do have, the other ones that we still have available are this penguin. The mama penguin with the baby peeking out. I think we have a few of these. Mm -hmm. And then there was this one last skunk one, I believe. Was there one skunk left? Is it a skunk? Or is it oh. a squirrel? 
Oh, maybe it's a raccoon. Or a raccoon. <laughs> Boy, we really don't know our animals today. I think it's a raccoon. <laughs> it's a raccoon. With a couple of uh, bumblebees. Oh, that we are funny. I think DJ needs to have this. She used to always joke that her kids were raccoons, and then they brought home baby raccoons. Did they? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just remember that story. Anyway, we have those. Right. Okay. Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of great. And the other one we have, I, I just saw Darlene with Sean's laughing about something, but look what she did with us for us. She put these two tea towels together this weekend and then brought them over at the retreat. Is, it, is this Hank? I think this is Hank. It might be. This one's Henrietta. She Hank would remember the names because I said, oh, just pick whichever one you want oh, for this other this way. one. They're so cute. And so this is with the um, Lori Holt templates, you know, and it will be that in the cluck cluck so, so long that starts on, on, on Valentine's Day. So it starts on Monday, Lori Holt so along. And I really like that she just added that little bit of trim here to the bottom to kind of tie it together. But look, she's got little eyes in there. That character and Darlene does the most beautiful blanket stitch. So <coughs> mm -hmm. thank you very much. Just love the job you did. But very fun. Yeah, so not just gnomes, we could do chickens and other things too. So it's another use for those templates that you're buying. Those chicken salad templates. And we have ordered some more. We're out currently, but we have ordered yeah, more. Yeah, there's more on the way. Okay. Yeah, the chickens are gorgeous, Susan Brooks. Yeah. So we thought we'd show those off this morning. And that is from that uh, cookbook line that has just come out. We could show some fabric today. Okay. Um, this one came in. Everybody's always looking for sunflowers. And sunflowers just, they just make us happy, don't they? Mm -hmm. So I think we'll probably put them in with our novelty. Those are 15. And then these little turtles are very fun too. A lot of people love turtles. And that They're one is cute. 16 a yard. These are both by Timeless Treasures. Nice quality, quite a fabric. And then thinking about spring, we have this line called Misty Morning. And there's a nice bright yellow that, that appealed really to my yellow people. And um, found another yellow person. Like Arlene oh. loves yellow. But at our retreat this weekend, Judy Kennedy attended, and oh. she loves yellow, too. So if you're watching Judy, yes, you know her. Well, then there's for the blue people right there. Yep. <laughs> We've got to balance it out. And then sort of the, the kind of the minty. Oh, this one is gorgeous. And we have some lovely fabrics that go with it that tie in beautifully. And they'll look. go with all of them. Just look. At I didn't really look at this yesterday. Now I'm like, hmm. Isn't this fun? And here's a nice bright yellow that yeah. will go. And that'll tie in nicely with the blue. Okay, let's just see. Color. Now we're making a mess. And these are just kind of dainty in spring. But look at this one, too. Like, you know, with just the little leaves. And, and that's in a couple of color ways. But they're... Happy prints, and uh, I think there's just lots we could do with them. And then we have some strawberries. We had that, strawberries uh, last week. We can't get enough of those. And you know this look. Look at how nicely this ties in with that mint, and then you know again with the pink. I mean, you could, you know, there's there's just lots of them. And then this nice navy that will go with the other, in the uh, strawberries. And this one just ties in with them all. Very pretty. Definitely spring. And you know, next month is March. And then we'll start to see things kind of start to break up. And Get some green going. Oh, that will be so nice to see some green coming. So what do you have? Right. I have, well, let's start with a different piece. I have Marcus Fabrics. It's called it's called equipment. Equ now, which makes no sense. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's the story? It does not look like equipment to me. Anyway, but look at these beautiful florals. 
that's just a beautiful floral. And maybe we should show the other big floral because they all go together. And the prints with them are just so sweet. You see, this just has that same, I don't know what blue would you call this? It's more of a green blue, isn't it? Like yeah. a robin egg or something? Yeah. But as you'll so see, I'm going to keep these to the side maybe, just so we can okay. show you these prints and how nicely they so go that's with a nice them. background. Yeah, that's a lovely background. And again, just a very nice, sweet, delicate print. And it's sort of in the Oops. pink, and then we have it in the blue colorway. So and the nice thing is that you can see that this blue would go, like this sort of bluey green ties in beautifully there. Or if you kind of wanted to go monochromatic, we have some options that you could do that with this quilt. You know, with this, because you could certainly include this. Do you want some of the colors? I here. Let's do this. Look at that. See that could. Uh, you could certainly have in that blue do sort of that whole monochromatic feel because there's even more. And we'll just maybe pile these back here. So this line is called Equipment. Um, so there's the little. Uh, let's turn back here. But nice, delicate prints, and there's just a lot of uses for these, you know, with other fabrics, too. But I like the scale. Here's different, uh, it's like a dot, uh, almost. Like and it's not, it's, um, it's not modern, but it's not old. It's, it's sort of a cross, you know, it's, um, it's very well, it's very well done. So, and there's just another colorway, and you can see that, uh, a lovely color to this. And then that nice little bit of yellow. Nice pale yellow. The tip of the blue. Mm -hmm. And once again, <coughs> you can see that with these two sort of more border or focal prints, how lovely that is. Very, very nice. That's that soft foam. Carlene, you were asking if it came in pre-cuts, and I don't think so, but I'm going to I'm going to double check with them because it is quite uh, quite lovely. And then the last one is that plum, or not really plum. I'm not sure what. It's sort of a rosy pink. I want to say it's rose. Not, it's not a dusky rose, but it's 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 leaning more in that direction, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And the line is called Barbara Hayward. You're asking. It's called Equipment, which makes no sense, but that's what it's. Called. <laughs> but it is quite lovely. Then we have a fun one to show you. Um, we've had it on Instagram, and um, this one is quite. It's just been quite popular for all our cat people. We like <coughs> things that are fun for our cat and dog people. So love, love meow, I was normal three cats ago, <laughs> happiness, uh, have catitude, catitude, that's what mm. it is, I can't quite read this, anyway, they're, uh, it's a fun, fun line, great color, yeah, and, and it's still a Northcott, yeah, it's a Northcott line, and we have, of course, we bought some of the accompanying fabrics to go with it. There's the hearts, there's the cats, and there's kind of two colorways in that. And I like their silly little faces. They're very whimsical. It's got big eyes. They almost remind me of those movie theater cats, in a sense. Oh, okay. And there's someone faces. writing on it. Got this red love. One cat leads to no. One cat lives. leads to another. Life is better with a cat. <clears throat> it's a twine. So it's a very, it's a very sweet line. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. And those were sixteen. I heard. Sixteen. All right. And then I think we are back to behind us here, aren't we? <clears throat> 
So we showed you the sew-along. Or not sew-along, the sew so a lot, so me a lot. She who sews. She who sews. By uh, Riley Blake, uh, J. Wecker Fresh. And there's some quilts that can be done with just this panel, and they have like the months of the year that you can put underneath them. But what she's come out with is, and we it wasn't in when this initially came; it was back ordered. And um, is a calendar panel. So we want to do something with this because it has 2022. 23 and 24 so you could cut these up you know for the month and make your calendar so that you had like these different um, pictures for each month that you could put up with your calendar and just change the month on top so we will we will come up with a sample but we wanted to let you know that they're in and um, normally I, I don't go for calendar quilts but when you have one that's three years I thought, okay, three years, I, I can That's do that. doable. That's <clears throat> doable because then I feel I get my use out of it. Use out of it, yeah. Well, yeah. And then like you can still use these pieces. For other things, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that has come in. And um, let's see. I, I don't know the price of that panel, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, I don't think we uh, figured that out. No, it just <laughs> arrived yesterday, and I was just back from retreat and didn't, um, I didn't check the invoice. It would right. be reasonable. Yeah, if you're interested, we'll uh, find out for you. Okay. Now, McKinnon says, I have two cats. I have two children have two cats. Maybe that would be fun for them. Yes. Oh, And yes. we have a show. A bear, this is a special show and tell, too. So take a look. This is uh, Darlene <laughs> Denny and her farm sweet farm quilt. And this is all hand applique. This is a a Lori Holt project and um, she just made it a little different with how she did the you know put the word in the top like with the letters and um, I just think it's fabulous so all hand applique and then she had Margaret um, Holden custom quilt this for her and it's you can beautiful see the wind and then I think she and then Darlene added not one but 61 buttons <laughs> To this, if you look at the apples and flowers, the trees, yeah, yeah, there's the flowers on there and little eyes. It is just an amazing quilt. So, we thank her for bringing that in and showing it. She did a fabulous job. Yeah, she did. And Margaret, like the quilting in the sky, you can see it, like mm -hmm. on the picture. It it just really adds Hi there, to Jasmine. it. Jasmine, like Marilyn Stewart, Linda White, Gladys Goodman, Linda Charlton. Anyway, we just loved it. So we had to we show love that. when you bring we, we love when you bring in your show and tell. And yeah. I was trying not to do show and tell, but <laughs> almost. <laughs> okay, so all right. Well, let's finish up then. <laughs> all right, are you ready, Arlene? <laughs> all right. The first name is Tawny Kirsten. Okay. Tawny Kirsten, congratulations for a block book. And then the other block book. Darlene Hopkins. Congratulations, Darlene. And the calendar. Holly Piggott. Piggott. Oh, hello, Holly. Holly was just at our retreat this week. Oh, weekend. there you go. And then the uh, little fat quarters. Is Vivian Wickering. Congratulations, Vivian. So yeah. let, let us know if you're going to come pick them up or if you need them mailed. Right. And I was going to say, usually I have time to, um, I, I type the say goodbye to everybody in person at the retreat. Well, I called for help to pack the van because I just, well, they sent five people down and it was just like whoosh. And I didn't want to be holding up the line of everybody else leaving and getting their cars in line. So I didn't get to say a personal goodbye to everybody, but thank you all for coming. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again. And we hope all of you watching will uh, Come and see us at the shop. We look forward to seeing you. There's going to be some good days and some good driving days ahead. So, yeah, pop in. We'd love to see you. Thanks for watching and okay. have a great week. Happy Valentine's Day.